if, if the body did not give up the self from the beginning and rather gave the sacred away at a given moment, a bleak playground in a sea of wood chips, dust crashing like waves inhaled, salt coating the nostrils and water coughed up. At 13, the fact that anybody would desire me or any part of me is so astonishing that a little water ghost who is also a virgin ghost snatched me by the ankle and tried to sink me into the ground only to find my brain thudding against the basketball court. No, that's what I was told happened to my body. No, at 13, what is astonishing is that life fast forwarded like my mom skips through Benjamin Button's sex scenes during which I pretend 32 times the original speed can drape over the overwhelming skinness on screen. At 17, I am almost amused that whoever occupied my body at 13 years and about six months old was so sincerely concerned with politeness. But at 13, there's not much to be amused about when it comes to a boy and another boy and a dusty playground and not knowing I'm allowed to not want a body. And all at once I scrambled for the words that would not disappoint and there's yes, and perhaps no, sorry, so sorry, no, sorry, and yes, and yes. So I closed my eyes and grabbed at random to find my mouth has said yes. A slobbery mass presses and stuns. I realized that whatever I wanted, if wanted at all, was not this. Petrify on the concrete shore. I do not know where to place what you're supposed to kiss back. Makes me feel on a portion the scale from apologetic to shameful, but I learned to do so. Cement evaporating in a sizzle and vapor lapping at my toes. I learn to enjoy, to want. That yes does not mean I don't think he would actually take yes as a yes. But in the clumsiness of so swiftly deserting the self tethered to this body and instead adopting desire, I never learned not to kiss back. No, she still kisses back, he says to somebody, and I do not know why. I don't know if I want to know why. I never learned not to kiss back. <laughs>